organize and preview fonts with wordmark.it. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another vectormade.com tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about wordmark.it. If you go to the website wordmark.it, you will see this. This is a great way to organize and preview your fonts that are on your computer and also see some that are not on your computer. Um, I actually got this tip from one of my subscribers on a video a few days ago and I've been checking it out and I love this site so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'll just type in his name. Big shout out to Trevor Hansen for letting me know that this exists. You hit enter and you should see something like this. Um, and this is going to show you all of your fonts that are on your computer. It's actually not every single font that's on your computer, but it's most of the fonts that are on your computer. So I'm not sure exactly how it determines which ones to show and which ones not, but it shows most of them. Um, and you can do some really cool things quickly. You can change the preview to have only lowercase. Of course, if it's a font that doesn't have lowercase, it's not gonna do that. Um, this is title case and then uppercase. Um, very nice to be able to do that quickly. You can click on uh, dark background or you can keep it light and then you can quickly and easily decrease or increase the preview size. Um, and then you can go over here and this will show Google fonts. So there are either your fonts or Google fonts that you can download for free. And there are a lot of these too. And as, as you'll see, I've already selected some. All you do is you click on these to select them. It's very simple. Um, just find ones that you like and say, oh, I'm gonna click that and click that. And after you click several of them, you just hit select uh, the filter to the selections only. And it will show you these. These are the ones that I selected. And maybe I want to look at them and go, uh, maybe not that one. And this one looks too much like impact. And you know, maybe I land on one of these. Cool thing is you can hover over here and hit download this font to get it. Or you can click here to zoom in on it and really look at it. Um, it's just so handy I, and you can even print these off or you can save it as an image if you're wanting to like send this to a client for instance something along those lines just really handy and it doesn't have to be just a word or um, uh, you know a couple of words something small like here's some lorem ipsum just some latin filler text and you can even put this in and see what that looks like to kind of give you an idea of what is gonna look really good for your paragraphs on a website or in a brochure or something. I think that's extremely helpful. See, obviously here, this is really thin. You don't wanna use that one. <laughs> but I mean, it's great to be able to see that in the preview. So there are some changes that have been made to Adobe um, products like Illustrator and Photoshop since the 2019 um, update. And those allow you to do some new previews as well. But I think for the ease of use and, and, and large preview, especially since you can change the size and get even larger previews, I think you know, for, for my purposes and for what you will probably end up using this for, this is gonna be a better fit for you. Um, if you want to, this is all free by the way. Everything I've discussed is free, which is super cool. Um, but if you want to, you can pay $24 a year and you get a little support. You can remove the ads. There aren't very many, but there are a few. And then you can also tag fonts uh, by categories to help you filter through them even faster. I might have at some point end up doing that. Um, I'm going to mess with it for a little while just to see what I think. Um, but yeah, go ahead and go for it. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is an awesome thing to use or not. And uh, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, do all that awesome stuff, and let's continue to grow the channel.